doing? My name is Dusty and this is Fox Holler Homestead. So we're on a mission today. Now this is something that I've been dealing with for quite a while. It's a big old giant boulder. Um, like you've seen in the in the first two videos that we put out. Um, we just recently bought this property. There's a lot of work to do. A lot. Um, anybody that's ever started a homestead 100% knows that. Um, one of the things is, is when at the beginning of our driveway, our driveway was very, it was unmaintained for, you know, 20 plus years. Well, uh, I've been maintaining, I widened it up a little bit, but I still have this boulder that I've been dealing with. Now I'm not uh, a Mason. I'm not, um, you know, a rock expert, what have you, but, uh, the driveway butts up right next. I mean, it's on a city road. So the beginning of our driveway comes off a of city road. Well, I can't take this boulder and I can't blow it up. I mean, I don't have a license for, uh, I don't have a license to uh, light off dynamite in the city or the permits or what have you. And I don't think that that's probably the smartest way to do it. It would send, you know, chunks of rock everywhere and, you know, God forbid it hurt somebody or, you know, cause a, an incident. So I had to look at different methods on how to deal with this rock. So, I mean, it's a giant boulder. Now I'll show you this rock right here. So there it is behind me. As you can see, um, this is a six foot ladder. Well, that's how big that stone is. Now, if you can see, our driveway comes up right through here and that boulder is right there. Well, it's been sticking in the way. I did, I've taken about four feet off of it so far and you can see the drill marks. You can see all these little drill marks that I've made throughout this whole project all up there all around here and it's I mean I brought bro broke off a huge amount of it like I said it came out about four feet from this uh from where it stands right now but there's still this big old belly in here and uh I don't know if you can see that big old belly right in the center and uh the other day when I made the last video um you probably heard me in the beginning of the video um I thought that it was back far enough, um, but uh, bringing the boat up here came inches, inches from hitting the fenders uh, and the wheels on that stone. So what we're doing today is uh, I've got the generator out again, uh, Harbor Freight generator. I got the uh, big old uh, rotary hammer and um, we're gonna go at it. And another thing is, is because I don't have any dynamite or any way, I don't have feathers or pins or wedges or anything like that. What I'm doing is I found this stuff online and no, this is not a, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but it's a, uh, a powder called Dexpan. I didn't know anything about it before. Um, and I was trying to find different methods that I could take care of this stone. Now they didn't show me, I mean, all the videos I saw, I never saw any stones that were like that. Um, lots of concrete, lots of stones in the ground, what have you. Um, but how it works is you drill your holes uh, specific distances apart in the specific line and uh, you add dex pan. The dex pan comes, it's like kind of like a, a dry powdered mortar. You add water to it and pour it in there and it, within 24 hours, it says 24 hours, 48 hours maybe, um, the bigger the rock, the longer it takes. So it took about five days to progressively make it through this giant boulder. And uh, um, what it does is you, you, like I said, you add water to this powder, pour it down the holes. And when it dries, it dries with the expansive force of 18,000 square pounds per inch, per square inch. Craziness. Didn't believe it. It works. So... Anyhow, we're gonna take care of this boulder and uh, hope you guys stick around to see it. Okay, so I'm back and uh, it's a new day, 24 hours later. Um, I didn't get to explain, but uh, the drill that I had borrowed uh, was a roto hammer, big hilti, um, and the roto part of the hammer didn't work. So. On this particular rock, I can't just use a uh, an hammer. Um, it's too big, and 
the dex pan requires very specifically a hole the minimum of one inch hole uh at like you know however deep uh different rocks depend on different things so long story short i got a new drill today um i'm back so Okay, so now that I have all the holes drilled, which I could probably drill a few more, but it's getting a little dark out, I can always come back. Um, I've got quite a few holes in there, especially on the pivot line, the part where I would like to see break off. Um, and what we're gonna use to do this is Dexpan. Now, Dexpan is something that I researched quite a bit. I researched quite a few different products, and this is what I found to be the most effective. Now, it comes, from what I understand, it comes in two different temperature uh, temperature ranges. Um, what that means is the temperature inside the store or inside the stone. So if you're down in Arizona, let's say you're going to use a higher temperature uh, because the internal core of that stone is going to be higher. Um, I'm up in Washington State, especially Western Washington, so it's going to be a little colder climate. The stones are going to have an inside colder temperature, core temperature. Um, Ironically, that has a lot to do with this product. But, so what we're gonna do is, is uh, I'm gonna mix my last bag. Um, this box, or this uh, bucket, came with 45 pounds, or 44 pounds, and it had four bags in it, each 11 pounds, around that. Um, and I've used one bag per session. I've been going at this, at this boulder for quite some time, about a month and a half now. Keep doing chipping it off, chipping it off, chipping it off. I've taken just about four feet off of four feet off of it, so brought it in four feet. Um, I'm really hoping this is my last time that I got to do it. Um, the reason I got to do it one more time is I tried to bring the boat up here, like I was saying, and my fender almost hit this belly that's in here, and I have a drop off on the other side of my driveway. So there's only so much I can do, so many places I can go. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna miss, go ahead and mix this up in this five gallon bucket and you're just regular tap water. You mix it until it's a, a very kind of watery slurry and you have 15 minutes from that point to get it in the holes. So let's get it done. Another thing, real quick, it's uh, if it can it can break big giant boulders. I'm sure it's probably somewhat uh, not so good for your skin. So um, my hands are pretty tore up from working anyway, but I'd rather not take the chance. It's no different than uh, sticking your hands in concrete and all the lye and what have you. So let's do it. Got it mixed up, so let's do it.
I slid down the ladder. I am just too tired right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. So um, it says, depending on the size of the stone, usually 24 to 48 hours, but it can take up to 72 hours, a couple days longer. So last time I put a bunch of holes and then again, this is a giant boulder and it took about five days and after five days, you know, quite a few or quite a bit of it actually fell off. So again, um, we'll see. Then. Hey there, so it's been a couple days, actually about two days now about a solid, almost a solid 48 hours. So we put in the dex pan, redrilled the holes, put in the dex pan on Friday, and it is now Sunday about 6.09, which is, like I said, about 48 hours. So we're about to pull up here on the property, and um, fingers crossed, let's see, uh, let's see how things worked out. see any broken off stones yet but we'll check them to see how the cracks are doing there is the stone well So, again, this is how it works. Um, it says 24 to 48 hours, um, and uh, it's been 48 hours, but at the same time, uh, it's a lot bigger stone boulder. It's a lot bigger boulder than anything that I've seen online. And uh, the last time we broke through, it took, like I said, I saw it five days, so um, we're gonna have to check back a couple more days. Peace. like we're in business on day four so uh, what I see, let me see as you can see you can see the big cracks right here all the way around the side right there you can see that major crack along the top it actually goes all along here cracks all up into there all the way down here you could probably pull this up. Oh, I should probably not do that. But uh, you can see that crack. It's all the way in there. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All along the top. All on the top over here. Oh, wow. All the way back into there. Look at that. That is beautiful. Okay. Well... As you can see, uh, it all worked out. Man, there's a bunch of cracks in there. That is beautiful. Um, I'm not going to start pulling on that right now. Uh, I don't have the excavator down here with me. Um, 
uh, but the reason a lot of that has not fallen off is because there's a lot of uh, you can see all this dirt underneath here all that is holding it and the the stones kind of sit back from all the times we brought it down but uh, yeah man that's beautiful I keep on saying that but that's exciting well there you go so uh, it has taken us I'm gonna say the, the better part of a month and a half to take care of this boulder um, I'm gonna make a pretty good assumption that uh, I can pull the rest of that stone off and that's just enough it's just enough that what we need uh, so you know I I really hope that you guys enjoyed this process and uh, I'll keep on making videos if you like this video please go ahead and smash that like button and I uh, you know um, go ahead and subscribe and um, the more subscribers that we get the uh, more content we keep on putting out there um, we're really trying to get to a thousand subscribers right now so that maybe we could do some live uh, videos but uh, we really appreciate um, anybody who's checking out the video leave a comment tell us what you thought and uh, one, more one more thing is I'd like to send out prayers to the soldiers the men and women that are fighting for our rights in our country right now over in Afghanistan. I also want to send out prayers to the 13 families that uh, lost their loved ones over in Afghanistan and uh, also to the 18 uh, soldiers that are in hospitals over in Germany um, that are injured and are fighting for their lives right now. Many prayers to all of them and thank you so much, so, so much for your service. I know sometimes it may not feel like you're appreciated, but there's a lot of us out here that, that appreciate uh, everything that you do more than you can ever even imagine. I'd also like to send out a prayer to all of our law enforcement, men and women, and I, uh, you know, thank you for everything that you guys do. Thank you for all of your service. God bless.